Protective Stadium. Our host for tonight's season opener featuring Birmingham Legion FC taking on the Pittsburgh Riverhounds. Legion FC have revenge on their minds as a new season starts right now. Good serve, Cronulli puts it in! Birmingham lead here in the first half of this opening night. To get right on the board early on in the first game, first goal of the season um, is good. Tommy and I uh, have a lot of conversations about, you know, my size, I need to score more, I need to do more. So that's the expectation this year. Uh, that's big time. I mean, we were joking, you know, he's our leading goal scorer after that game. He's the center back. So uh, pretty cool to see that. It's very rewarding. And I think, you know, Alex this year is probably having his best year. He, he, what he brings defensively, what he's bringing the attack, like him splitting lines, like he, he's had a really good season. Van Opel sending everybody forward. And as he sends it away, that is full time. And on opening weekend, Birmingham and Pittsburgh walk away with a point apiece. Overall, we, we didn't have a great game and we still got a result. Start the season with a draw um, against a good Pittsburgh side. Lots to work on, uh, you know, and we didn't feel like we were anywhere near our best. So, you know, to keep up with a, a very strong team like Pittsburgh, it, it was good for us, a good test for us. We are just about ready for game time. In this battle of black and gold, which team comes out ready to shamrock and roll tonight? It's FC Tulsa, it's Birmingham Legion FC. Starting lineups and kickoff, come your way next. But it is gonna be a chilly one and a breezy one as well. Birmingham Legion and red FC Tulsa and white and we are underway. Pasher around one man, around a second, around a third. Still Tyler Pasher, what about this? What about this? Are you kidding? Tyler Pasher again! 2-2! Two, two. Just one of those where we're down a goal at home and you know I feel in moments like that that I can offer that to the team when you know it's struggling maybe to help pick us up and it just I got myself into a situation where it just kind of natural instinct took over me and I just went for it and grateful enough to have scored and tied it up. When you look at the entirety of that goal and how many guys he beat and, and the situation of the game where it was um, it's a it's a huge moment. Both of them were a great finish. You know, I think the first one goes a little unnoticed because of how good the second one is, but that one's awesome too. Um, and let's, we just need to keep finding the getting getting the ball to him, and finding him with the ball, so we can keep doing crazy things like that. Because yeah, he's a goal scorer. The man who scored twice tonight keeps it alive for Raveno. First time serve. Brett. Brett wins it. Nico Brett. Welcome back to Birmingham. Three two Legion FC. Early on in the season, momentum can shift very quickly. We're a goal up, we get scored on twice. Normally that'll knock the wind out of teams, but we just kept chipping away. And You know, there's character moments throughout a season and, and character moments aren't always winning or coming back. Obviously that's a, a, a character builder in the right way. Even when we're not at our best, we're finding ways to win games. And that man, Kano Smith's final time as a coach here in Birmingham, Legion Colors. Yeah, Kano's been fantastic. You know, he's, he's just a student of the game. He always wants to learn, always wants to progress. On the field, off the field, you can go talk to him about anything you needed. And, you know, I'm excited to see how he does being able to start a project from, from scratch. We've had some growing pains along the way. We've had good times, bad times. And I think when you work with someone closely, and um, you build that bond that when they leave, you know, it's a, I've seen him grow from where he, when he got here to where he is now. Um, he deserves a chance, and, and I'm really happy for him. Well, after a wild comeback win last weekend, Birmingham Legion FC are ready to hit the road for the very first time. Set to battle the elements and the blue and green of Hartford Athletic. Can you give us the go-ahead? And here we go. Underway from Trinity Health Stadium in Hartford, Connecticut. Birmingham Legion and Hartford Athletic for the first time this year. Still trying to push forward. Alvis tees up a shot. Alvis scores! Gabriel Alves, 1-0, Birmingham Legion FC, and the rookie's got his first career goal. It was really special. The left back helps me as well to find these this spots to, to open up and shoot in the goal. And I, I felt I had a lot of time in the game to do that, and I tried, and I was fortunate to, to score a goal. I think he's really dynamic and versatile. can play outside back, center mid, um, and, it's, you know, and to have a goal like that really helps his confidence early on in his career. It's a big time stop from Trevor Spangenberg. It looked like a mo. Was about to tap that in. 
FC trying to hang on. A shot, Spangenberg, a huge save. The rebound, side netting. Cedeno, Cedeno shot. Perry to side by Spangenberg and cleared from traffic by Agatello. Uh, you know, I'll be the first one to say it's, you know, there's only one goal he can play. And as a, a bunch of guys here as well are always staying ready, so you don't have to get ready. Um, and that's just the mindset we all have, and that's the mindset I always have. Um, so when my name's called, I'm ready to hop in. And yeah, it's fantastic to get a clean sheet with the guys. He doesn't always get a lot of games, so him being able to stuff up at any moment is a, really a luxury that we have. It's amazing that people can fill in roles when it's needed, and everybody, you know, is supportive of each other in those moments and those situations, and we're there to help anybody that steps in. So it was, it was, it was great to see. A goal kick, and that is full time. Birmingham Legion get all three points in their first road contest of 2023. Locker room was buzzing afterwards, um, and again, it's just a back to the building off of every game thing. And uh, there were still some things that we need to work on from Hartford, um, and we're gonna we've been touched on them this week already, and we've got a massive next seven days uh, starting with Tampa. So you know we got three games next week, and. What a time to just keep building um, against three really good opponents. So we're excited to just keep going and uh, you know, it's gonna be a fun season.